improve our environment to deliver sustainable and secure fuels for transportation, these are the pressing energy issues the National Renewable Energy Laboratory is working to solve. It's really a dynamic time now for transportation, and, and, and so really being at the cutting edge and really doing research to improve society, improve human condition on this planet, is really what gets myself and our team into work in the mornings. NREL's National Bioenergy Center is leading the research and development of advanced fuels made from biomass known as biofuels. The National Bioenergy Center is a collection of 180 scientists and engineers, technicians, doing real cutting edge research on biofuels. And it's making an impact. NREL achieved the national goal of delivering domestically produced cellulosic ethanol that's a cost competitive alternative to gasoline. The huge success story is we accomplished that goal. And now that technology is being deployed in the marketplace. That's just the beginning. Researchers here are innovating and advancing an array of biofuels from sustainable land and water-based energy sources. This is the algae research lab. Algal biomass is rich in lipids, similar to vegetable oils, that can be extracted and used for biofuels. The National Bioenergy Center is analyzing the best conditions for growing algae and developing cost-effective strategies for production. It's really a, a combination of, of the engineering, uh, looking at the entire process and putting together all the different unit operations that go in, how to grow the cells, how to harvest, extract, all of those things to determine what the best process option looks like. We are in the Biomass Compositional Analysis Laboratory. Identifying the exact makeup of a biomass feedstock helps determine the most efficient way to break the plant material down into the components needed to create liquid fuel. The future is definitely going to be prediction of the chemistry as it's going into a plant so that you can change the conditions inside the reactor to accommodate changing feedstocks as they're moving in real time. NREL's near-infrared spectroscopy provides that real-time information as the biomass is treated to allow engineers to adjust the process, which means faster, better results start to finish. So my group is involved from the very beginning to the very end, providing the feedback on how well everything is proceeding in the process. This laboratory supports the thermochemical platform of the biomass program. Thermochemical conversion is one of the pathways NREL uses for biofuels production. Researchers use high heat and low oxygen, a process known as gasification, to create a carbon monoxide hydrogen mixture called syngas. So you're heating up the biomass to a high temperature to basically deconstruct it, to break it apart into its component molecules that are very simple. A catalyst is introduced to speed up the chemical reaction that turns the biomass into syngas used in biofuel. NREL is improving catalysts for better performance and higher yields. At a laboratory scale, we've been able to develop a reforming catalyst that was recently patented and licensed by other companies that are using it to clean up biomass-derived syngas. Pyrolysis is another thermochemical approach. The biomass is heated, this time to create a bio-oil that's stabilized and converted to fuel. Biochemical conversion is basically extracting the sugars primarily out of these feedstocks and converting them. With the biochemical conversion pathway, a pretreatment of steam and acid is used to access the biomass sugars needed for biofuels. Naturally occurring enzymes then break the long chains of sugar molecules into simple sugars. Finally, microorganisms ferment the sugars into a solution for final finishing. We're also looking at taking those same sugars from biochemical roots and converting them to hydrocarbons, things that look more like gasoline, not an alcohol, but have a little more energy density, lower water solubility, and they're more compatible with our current fueling infrastructure. Dropping biofuels, sometimes referred to as hydrocarbon fuels, are, are technical terms really for making gasoline and diesel jet fuel directly from biomass that's uh, blended with the petroleum counterparts. Drop-in biofuels that can integrate into our existing infrastructure of refineries and pipelines, fueling stations and vehicles 
offer an economic solution to our energy challenges. The world-class researchers at the National Renewable Energy Laboratory are partnering with industry and academia to unlock the promise of drop-in biofuels and address the challenges of moving them quickly and affordably to the market. So by increasing the diversity of the fuel supply, we, we, we feel that we can level out fuel prices, we can make them less volatile, and plus, very importantly, we can make fuel and transportation much lower on greenhouse gas emissions and environmental impacts. To generate renewable biofuels to meet our nation's transportation needs from abundant homegrown biomass, this is a greener, cleaner energy future.